What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today we got an RDA. It's a dual coiler. It was sent to me by Hellvape. This is the Drop Dead version 2. The Drop Dead. Congratulations, Brian and Heathen. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyway, yes. So we got a new version of the Drop Dead. And uh, it's not bad. So let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this RDA. Measurements. We'll do coil placement. Kind. We'll come back. We'll vape on it. And I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Drop Dead V2. And here's the packaging. The Drop Dead V2 RDA by Hell Vape comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual, a spare A10 drip tip, a little baggie with extra O-rings, tools, and extra post screws, and a squonk pin, another baggie with some cotton, and a couple of coils. Now, there are no stats on this bag for these coils. And they also supply this coil cutting tool, and they recommend five millimeters. And here is the Drop Dead V2 RDA. So on top, we do have A10 drip tip. This is a metal drip tip. Pull it out. You can see metal. It does have an acrylic top over here. Black O-ring on the inside. On top, you do have some knurling for your airflow control. As you can see, it starts cutting it from the top to the bottom. And then once it's one hole there, you can see three open up on this side. And then it just continues. Same thing. On the bottom, it does say Drop Dead 2 RDA Hell Vape. Pre-installed is a gold-plated 510. It does protrude out more than enough for a hybrid mechanical mod. Also, they do provide that squonk pin that I showed. This is a 24 millimeter RDA. Now, another feature this has, which the original had, was where to where I could kind of turn it and have it lined up there or turn it and have it lined up there. So depending on your coil, where it's positioned, you could move it back and forth. There's the inside of the top cap. This does all come apart. There's a drip tip. There's this piece here. And you can see how the airflow works. And there is the build deck. So we have a 6.5 millimeter deep juice well. It is using flathead screws for the post screws there. Double O-ring. And you can see your coils just drop right in. You got one set here and one set here. Now coils I'll be using in this video are going to be these coil clout aliens. There are the stats. And there are the coils. I wanted to use these, the N90 mech aliens. But as you can see, these are just a much bigger, wider coil. And because of the way they did the build deck, it's just going to bunch it up too much just to get this in. It's going to deform the coil. Kind of wish these posts were just a little bit more spread out. Now with the coily tool, as you can see there, I am going to cut it at 5 millimeters. And then you just drop your coil right inside, just like that. And now we're just going to tighten that one down. I have to say the post screws on here are nice and beefy. Really like these post screws. And now I'm just going to position these coils. I'm going to put it partial. As you can see, I want the cotton to just come and loop down this way and this one that way. So I'm going to have it, I think this one is good right where it is. You can see how I have it lined up. There, we could actually raise this one just a tad. And you can see there with the airflow lined up with that coil. Now I'm going to get the hot spots out. I want it to glow from the inside out. There we go. That is glowing nice. All right, we've got the cotton situated. I'm just going to cut it right up to the bill deck where the O-rings are. Level it out there. Snip. Do the same thing on this side. Oh, Steve's going to be happy with all this here. He's going to be excited. All right, so now we're going to give it a comb out. Do a little side action on it. We'll do some under under tickle action. There we go. The same thing on this side. Give it a little under under. We'll put this on the side for Steve. He loves this stuff. Give that a little trim there. Pad. A little bit on that side. We'll give that to Steve. Grab the cotton. Just do the little flip there. Just put it right inside that juice well. Turn it around, grab this side, and flip it in. Oh, we got a straggler for Steve there. Let's put that there. There we go. Looking good. Liquid I'll be using in this video is some Zook Deck Vanilla Blackberry Crumble Paradon Distro. All right, we'll get that nice and saturated, and we'll drop some right down the center. 
I'll grab that top cap and slip it right on. What I like to usually do with this is, I mean, you could do it here too, is there is some liquid on the edge of the cotton. So I like to just get a little bit on the edge of the, the actual top cap here. So this way, when it goes onto the O-rings, I could just massage that liquid in and it just lubricates it and makes it a better experience. Let's take this off, pop it on my clutch mechanical mod here, give it a test fire. Yeah, buddy, we are ready to vape. And there you go, that was the drop dead version two by Hell Vape. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, that was the up close. Drop dead V2 by Hell Vape. Mike, your thoughts, pros and cons. If you guys love vaping, and vaping has helped you quit smoking, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below, did you have the original drop RDA. Also hit that notification bell icon so you get alerted when I have a new upload up on YouTube. And a huge shout out to my Patreon peeps. Oh, and happy new year, everyone. So Mike, pros and cons. Before we get into that, people are gonna ask, Mike, what's that mod? This is the clutch. This is a creation between myself and Signature Tips out of the UK. There is a video, I'm pretty sure there's a video up on YouTube on it. But yeah, this is the limited edition clutch. Looks sick. Shout out to Signature Tips. Let's talk about this RDA, your pros and your cons. It's already cloudy down here. This thing chucks clouds. Big Lou, I'm challenging you to a cloud comp. Nah, I could never compete against Big Lou. Guy's got eight lungs. I only have two lungs or no, I got four, I think, right? What was it? I can't remember. But anyway, yes, Big Lou has like eight lungs. He Forget it. A lot of people are probably like, who's Big Lou? Big Lou is a legend when it comes to RDAs and mechs and blowing clouds. So anyway, I'm drifting again. Mike, your thoughts on this RDA, your cons. Okay, the only thing I see I would have liked is the spread of the posts there. They were maybe like a millimeter, half a millimeter, just a little bit more. It would still accommodate the coils I have inside here and the coils with an extra wrap. Yeah, I have a lot of coils with that extra wrap that's on there on the coils and it could go in, but it just lop it does it makes the coil like that inside. I don't like it. I like my my leads being straight down. Maybe a little bit of it going in, but it's just a little bit too much with those mech coils. So these coils fit fine in here. I'm nitpicking, yeah, I know, but it would have been nice if that spread was just a little bit more. Mike, do you have any other cons? Well, a complaint, uh, I would have liked to at least known the stats of the coils that they provided. There's nothing on that packaging that writes the stats on it. This would have been nice. Not a big deal, just something I needed to mention. Other than that, you're going to get lots of pros. Build quality, definitely a pro. They give you two trip tips. I like that. Very nice. Definitely a pro. I did forget to show you guys in the up and close. They're going to come in a bunch of different colors. Here are two sets of colors here. We have... Gun, well, actually, no, this one here. Gun metal here, and this is the black, and you can see it's got the hell, uh, the drop dead logo there engraved where you could see it. Where this one here is stealthed in. Airflow on here, definitely give it a pro. Beautiful, smooth airflow. Cutting the coils at five millimeter puts them in the perfect position. I like to like, I don't like to have them in, I like to have them kind of closer to the airflow, but. Not too close to where my cotton could at least go into the well, you know, without it being like like a turn like this to go in. If you guys understand what I'm talking about. When it comes to the juice well, 6.5 millimeters deep juice well, not bad. I'm going to give it a pro. Squonking in this RDA, it's going to be a breeze. I don't, I don't see no issues when it comes to squonking on here. I haven't squonked with it, but after doing this for so many years, you could tell. You just know you're not going to have issues with squonking with this here because basically I've already did squonking with this RDA the original drop it's basically almost the same thing as the original drop just a little bit different build deck Mike vape it okay like I said we got on a clutch mech let's hit it oh we're doing a lean back baby Lou be careful Lou I'm coming for you so yes airflow on this I got the airflow closed off just the top row. So I got the middle row and the bottom row opened up. Top row shut down. Now, let's do, let me turn this here. And we'll do a fully open because you guys want to see it fully open. I know that. All right, fully open. Let's hit it. I'm 
more than enough airflow. I just like that hint of restriction on there. But even like this, it's beautiful. Another hit. Ooh, it got cloudy down here. But you know what? I'm reminiscing. This is like back in the days, baby. We're going to do another hit. This time, this hit's for you, Big Lou. I'm going to show you my cloud. I'm going to do a lean back on here. All right, let's hit it. So for people looking for Big Lou's channel right about now, it's Big Lou East Coast Reviews. Check him out. You want to see old school mech builds, RDAs, trucking clouds. Yeah, check out my man Lou. Almost feels like I'm doing an advertisement for him in this video. I don't know. You know what it is? I just saw him do a Instagram post. He tagged me in it and he's just blowing massive clouds. So it's almost as if I'm tagging him in this video. So any Big Lou people out there, send them this video. Let them know I'm calling him out, baby. And uh, yeah, it is cloudy down here. It looks foggy. Steve, please turn that exhaust fan on and do not ask me if it comes with a lanyard. Much better. All in all, not bad of an RDA. Actually, it's a nice RDA. I'm getting beautiful flavor, beautiful vapor, easy to build on. It's a clean RDA. Comes with the extra drip tip, which is a huge pro. You're going to get coils and cotton in it to start you off. You got everything you need to start off. All you're going to need is yourself is some liquid for this RDA. Now, is there anything about this RDA that's revolutionary? No, but it's just nice to have an RDA to review nowadays. You guys understand what I'm talking about. So there you go. That was the Drop Dead V2 RDA by Helve. In the description below, no links to this. You guys already know the deal. I'm not allowed. Good old YouTube policies. We'll have links to me, Mike Vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.